When we use the term network, or more specifically computer network, we're talking about a couple of different kinds of networks, and we have to use the context of the conversation to determine which one we mean. In one case, we could be talking about what we call an IP network, a block of IP addresses that are assigned to a collection of computers. And any computers that are outside of that block of IP addresses is a different network. The other sense in which we use it is just a group of computers that are connected somehow. It could be locally, it could be long distance over the internet, uh, or through some other uh, means of long distance communication, phone lines, and so on. And if they're connected together, we might call it a network. So let's take a look at both of these. The first is an IP network. So here I have a router, and routers separate IP networks. So over here on this side, coming off of this port on the router, is network 1, and it has this set of addresses. And I know you don't know how to interpret this necessarily yet, but... Uh, in this case, it would be the address is 192.168.0.0 through 192.168.0.255. Over here, this is anything from 10.0.0.0 through 10.0.0.255. So these are two completely separate groups of IP addresses, and they are separated by routers. They are not separated by switches. Switches actually allow many devices to connect to one port on a router. So switches make up the sort of home base here for this entire network. The other sense is just when I have a bunch of computers, they could be in a room together, they could be spread across a campus, they could be spread across the world, but they are connected in some way, and so I call them a network. Now, in another video, we'll talk about the term internetwork, which, again, can refer to uh, both senses of the word network, but we'll look at that in another video.